Hello everyone, my name is Shmuel Reptek and I'm 17 years old React developer here at Colostack. And today we are at React Native EU 2023 that is happening in Wrocław. And I have very, very special guest with me today. It's Mike Grabowski. Hello everyone. Co-founder of Colostack. Can you please introduce yourself? Yeah, uh, so I'm Mike. As you said, I'm a uh, co-founder of Colostack, uh, the company that happens to be organizing this conference. Um, I'm a React Native engineer. Um, kind of interested in Web3 AI and all the things uh, related to it. How are you enjoying this year's conference? Uh, it's pretty awesome, actually. Uh, there's been, you know, uh, like, honestly, I've been missing uh, interacting with people so much ever since we, uh, like, pandemic uh, started. And so um, I think it's been like three years since the last time we've gathered in Wrocław. So I'm like so happy to see some of the faces. Of course, the only problem is that every time I see everybody, it's like we're older, you know, more gray hair. It's just like everybody's just, you know, aging. So that's the bad part. Um, but other than that, it's awesome. Yeah, it's all about networking, uh, this kind of events to, to meet people and to update each other on the status. What is the, the talk that you like the most? Actually, that's a, a very good question because we still haven't finished the conference. I, but so far? I'm biased because I'm from Colstack, so I can say the Colstack guys. But, you know, I have to say that, um, and, and, and I know this may sound like a, a very, you know, uh, politi politically correct answer, but I think all the talks are nice. Um, the thing I like the most is that, you know, we gather people from different backgrounds. So at this conference, you can hear about uh, things that are very technical, things that are very high level, a sneak peek into the future, like Satya's talk on React Navigation or Mike P talk on like, uh, some abstraction. But another thing that I really like is, you know, panelists from leading business uh, businesses out uh, uh, all over the world, like Microsoft or Facebook, and also keynotes from, you know, Facebook team. So it's like our small tradition that they open up the conference with like the glimpse uh, and the future of React Native. So, I, you know, this is like the full package is awesome, but these are like the things that stand out. And of course the parties, but you were asking about the the, the talks, so. Yeah, very is, is the, the most important part. Yeah. Like how React Native EU changed from, from the beginning because you started, you kick yeah. off it. And, and to comparison to, uh, to this edition, how this changed, like community, grow and yeah it's 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 been changing you're right i mean you know when we first started uh, me and anna had this idea of running this conference uh the primary reason was that we just wanted to make make it make an opportunity for everybody to kind of get together and get to know each other and back then there was no react native focused conferences outside so we wanted to kind of uh you know make this uh experience possible to everybody uh now it is funny though that the very first conference we organized uh, six years ago now, I think, ever since all the conferences are actually organized by the same person, which is Barbara. Uh, I mean, obviously she's working with a big team and it's now a very team effort, but she was working for an agency we hired for organizing the first conference. And the first conference was so awesome that when the conference finished, I was like, we need to hire Basia. So basically, uh, you know, it's been, it's been changing bigger fence here but you know the same people behind which is us yeah huge shout out to barbara and and ola and and gutech so yeah very very great job guys and and yeah so how would you describe react native eu in one sentence making opportunities for people to connect it's a pretty good shot i i think yeah, yeah. So I agree. it's without chat GPT actually, yeah, but I think it's pretty valid. Maybe you prepared to before it. <laughs> <laughs> actually, no, but I always say that, you know, it's all about making it, you know, it's, it's like many years, like what are the odds of like meeting people from Silicon Valley living in Krakow or Wrocław? Like unlikely, right? So th th this is what this conference is all about. To network and yeah. to meet new people and to make some, exactly. some great ideas and ship great things. What's the feeling of, of seeing the community is growing? Like, React Native is growing, the, the, the downloads on NPM are, are yeah. over, over millions. And you've been in React Native from the beginning. You were a re releaser for, for a long yeah. time. I don't know for, for how long, but for a long time. You, you, you created Bootstrap React Native Community CLI to, to yeah. the repository. A lot of contributions, a lot of libraries, Lean Core and all this yeah. stuff. How do you see this stuff? In conversion it's to pretty now. it's pretty cool though it reminds me of like i told you the time passing by we just had this discussion with my friend um so he was telling me that he changed his job and he's now refactoring legacy react native code base and i'm like wow do we already have legacy code uh, like this technology is like six years old right so i can see the time passing um but again 
React Native now is, I would say, enterprise ready. It, it made a long way from being a framework that, believe it or not, I was just doing NPM publish from the CLI myself without two-factor auth. Maybe don't tell everybody. But that's what it's been like, Friday deployments, you know, all things go wrong. But it's now like stabler. We have community. We have the uh, RFCs processes. So it's it's been, you know, kind of developing into this well established community where, you know, it's kind of growing like crazy, I think now. Yeah, it's, it's probably very exciting and motivating to see that the, the, the thing that you are working very hard is growing. And uh, yes, um, people often ask me, you know, how do I feel about, you know, maybe Colstack or this conference or React Native growing, but believe it or not, this just happens like you don't even realize, right? Today I checked, there is like over 170 people working at Colstack and I'm like, when did that happen? You know, it's like, I stopped the count at like 60 maybe. It's, it's crazy. You don't realize that. I mean, every time I realize that, it makes me smile. But, you know, it just happens so quickly that you don't, you're not aware of that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Colstack is a really great place. And, and I'm re really great, grateful for the Colstack that they, they hired me because I'm 17. A lot of companies like said to me, like, yeah, you are too young. You probably don't, don't do anything like React Native. But, but I wrote a message to you and said, let's give this guy a test. And, and I, I wrote a test and here I am. See, when I was your age, I had uh, a challenge that I wanted to open a uh, business but I was not 18 years old. So my father opened it for me under his name, uh, which was like, uh, you know, a shout out to him. <laughs> but, but you know, it's kind of, it was kind of a challenge uh, in that aspect. So I kind of feel for those cases because I've been there myself and, uh, you know, uh, you've been doing great work on Twitter and GitHub with PRs and stuff. So I think, you know, we did the right bet. So I'm happy for you as well. Thank you so much. So, so yeah, I think that's it. Thanks for Thank you very much for the interview and yeah, say one thing for the next year participants, React Native EU 2024 and what is very special, I will be 18. That, that only means that we're not going to have two after parties, but three. So you should definitely come this time. Yeah. See you there. Bye. See you. If you liked what you've just heard, check out more of the conference content. Follow us on social media, subscribe to our newsletter and see you at React Native EU 2024.